guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name's Simon down here at Burford Golf Club. And if you don't know, I want to compete in long drive next year. And this is how I do with the vlogs. If you haven't seen the other ones, go and check them out. One and two will pretty much bring you up to speed. Uh, was injured, not injured, was unhealthy, not unhealthy. Now we're getting back into it. So the idea is obviously today, we're out here on the 17th at Burford. I've got 20 balls, I'm gonna hit 20 drives. I'm gonna see how many go down the fairway, how far they actually go. Because competitive long drives in the elements. Um, and so I wanna practice in the elements. No point in me being in the shelter all the time. So I'm gonna come out here. It's wet, it's cold. The ball's not gonna go its furthest, but it should give me a rough idea. Especially I should catch at least hopefully one out of those, at least uh, out the middle and hard. So we should get a rough idea how far it's going. And yeah, don't wanna get bogged down by numbers always on the GC2, really important. But until I get my actual long drive, drive in my hands, not really much point me looking at, in term, apart from club head speed, in terms of the spin rate and everything else. So more interesting for you guys being out here anyway, just to see how far the ball's going and everything else like that. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, comment. If you've got any criticism or even encouragement, that'd be great. And yeah, let's talking. Let's get hitting. Okay guys, I only hit 15 or so because I had a few seniors from this morning coming up behind me. Definitely don't want to annoy them. And um, yeah, it was very interesting in terms of results there. Wind plays such a massive part. I hit one probably about 320, 330, um, just up towards this side here. And you've got about 100 yards, something like that left in. But I also hit some massively back there where they just hit the wind and balloon. Now I know I'm not using the right driver. I'm using a 10 and a half. Uh, 43 and a half, no, 44 and a half inch driver. Um, uh, and the spin rate would have been colossal on some of those shots, especially when I'm giving it 120%. But it's all about consistency. And the problem is, I've, all I've done at the moment is hit a floodlit range in pitch black. So I don't actually get to see how far the ball's going. And when the wind plays such a big part like it did today, because I'm going to be playing competitions where the wind's going to be into or it's going to be across the right or across the left, shaping the ball must be massive in this game. You must be able to hit it both ways. Unless, unless it's downwind or no wind, doesn't matter. But there's gonna be days where you're pegging it up and it's 20 miles out off the right. And if you can only hit a cut, then you, you are screwed. Or if you can only hit a draw, then you are screwed. Because I hit some that I just felt were unbelievable. I've hit them out in the middle. Smash factor must have been ridiculous. Club, out, club miles per hour must have been ridiculous. But then I just saw my ball basically just hit the wind and just disappeared. Like either fly massively off to the left or all of a sudden balloon into the stratosphere. I came back, one of my balls was plugged uh, in the fairway. That's how high it must have come down. So I'm so inexperienced. I've got so much to learn. Um, I'm so excited, but it's not as simple as, naively, it's not as simple as I thought it was gonna be in terms of get big in the gym, hit the ball hard, hope one goes straight, jobs are good. In. 
they're so it's the physics of the game you've got to know your physics you've got to know your launch angles you've got to know your spin rates otherwise you've got only got six balls and i've hit 15 there and i probably hit one that i was happy with the rest of them um uh, were all over the place sobering thought guys if you like this video leave it a like quite self-explanatory i guess uh comment if you've got any questions and i'll catch you guys later